A university is many sounds, many sounds and many people. And many ideas. What it is today is different from what it was yesterday, different from what it will be tomorrow. And yet a university's mission is constant, though times may change. This is a search for meaning, an attempt to examine what one university, West Virginia University, means to those it serves. search takes us in three directions, to those who teach and those who are taught, to those who seek new knowledge through research, and to those who extend the campus throughout the state. We start with the most familiar when path. When they are making political contributions or artistic contributions, right? They are simply performing a human function, but the unique function of woman is maternity. The book that we are working on is H.G. Wells, A Modern Utopia, which was published in 1905. This course seems to appeal to the students more than any of the other great books courses that I teach. They seem to see in it a kind of a relevance, probably because the uh, very social awareness that the contemporary student seems to have. I don't think that just making men and women equal necessarily uh, brings up any problem with But it's like comparing apples and oranges, and you can't talk about equality. Oh, He's so talking why about talk qualitative about equality? differences. He doesn't need to talk about inferiority if you're talking about two different things. There's student of today seems better in almost any way you can imagine. Uh, he is physically better. I've never seen so many handsome young men and beautiful young women. They are more intelligent. They are not as vocationally oriented as students were in the past. They seem to be more concerned with the quality of life that they are going to experience in the, in the future. They are asking questions, uh, difficult questions, about the nature of the organization of our society, the goals that we have, the ideals that should operate in our society. They wouldn't submit to the order. They wouldn't submit to the rules. And that's what kept them out. Not because they had a deficiency in intellectual uh, capability, but because they, had, they couldn't submit. I'm saying you give up a, a great deal more when you submit, you know, willy-nilly to your own plans. Professor Lawrenson suggested that he would like to sit in my class. And I suggested if he were going to sit, he was also going to participate. I'm not denying. You're submitting, you know, you're just, you're just, you're just drifting with whatever little emotional wave comes rippling along, God, and they're knocked over again. The university is changing. The university responds to society's needs, demands, and interests. The biggest threat to the university, seems to me, is the failure of the public to understand what the university must be if it is to succeed. It is an institution where thought should be allowed to exist without consideration of practical implications or political implications. Students and teachers alike must be extended the freedom to examine thought. Frequently that thought may not be congenial to the thought of the general public. Yeah, of course. That would be his ultimate goal. And the utopia is continuing to evolve. Yes, ma'am. 
I'd like to come back to the point of motherhood being... Oh, wow, we can't be mothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's the point right there. Okay, if motherhood is the natural role for the female, then fatherhood is the natural role for the male. But let's, let's expand that to the, to the family and make fatherhood being the emotional and other than physical attachment to the children being just as important as the mother, then why should the mother get paid for having the child and why should she be limited in that? The father isn't limited to fatherhood. He's, he has the whole range of society outside of that. Let's you and I fight that out over a cup of coffee. <laughs> Learning takes many forms at West Virginia University. Dental and medical students learn while they serve in the carefully supervised clinics of the medical center. Students of law gain experience from simulated professional situations. In many classes, the traditional lecture method is used. In others, the small seminar offers each student discussion opportunities. In some classes, students work when they want to and at their own pace. In others, they receive some of their instruction by television. Field experiences provide valuable first-hand knowledge in such courses as agriculture and early childhood education. Abilities developed in college can satisfy professional or recreational needs. The library is a major resource where students learn research skills that will serve them throughout their lives. And much important learning takes place outside the classroom in many different situations. No attempt to discover the nature of a university can ignore the most elusive of its pathways, the road in search of new knowledge. Bill, do we have the computer output from yesterday's runs back yet? Yes, they are. Just a second. Here we are. I don't know, from the first look, that hydrogen is not one near as high as it usually is. No, the carbon monoxide is coming up on it, though, and um, the methane's staying about the same. Yeah, but the heating value they can cancel off, but the must be. For the past several years, we've been trying to take the uh, waste material, household waste, and convert it to a valuable fuel gas. The nation's natural gas supplies are diminishing at a rapid rate, and some experts have indicated that in a time of 10 to 20 years, we may have diminished all of our, our resources. Also, we have the problem of getting rid of the solid waste material. Now, it's possible that we can solve both problems at the same time through this research. The technique we are using heats up trash in the absence of oxygen. The beauty of the system really is the fact that it is very simple. The unit has no moving parts. There will be nothing to wear, nothing to corrode inside the vessel. This material has come from a garbage truck that has collected refuse from people's homes. It has been crushed to reduce its size, but nothing else has been done with it. 
as both a citizen and a professor in a public supported institution, I feel that I have an obligation to use my knowledge to try to solve some of society's problems. Other significant research is being done at West Virginia University. The first motors to operate off the Earth's electric field have been developed. A method of preserving bull semen is used in developing nations to improve the quality of cattle. A new technique for economic analysis is helping West Virginia predict its needs and solve its problems. A process for making bricks from a waste product of coal burning power plants has now gone into commercial production. And research is underway to gain more understanding of black lung. A new typewriter attachment makes it possible for the blind to proofread their typing. And an internationally unique experiment in transporting people by automated means is in progress. Research activity is aided by one of the nation's most modern computer centers. And many projects lead to new publications. So, through research, new knowledge is discovered. Once found, it is put to use, taken back into the classroom by the research professor and by others who learn of his work, or carried along the third pathway of a land-grant university's activity, off-campus educational programs. West Virginia University Extension Office. Yes. Oh, hello, Ruth. Oh, a lot of things went on. We're sorry that you weren't there. The Extension program today is a, a much broader program than it was when Extension originally developed. We're involved in educating both women and men, families, individuals, and our programs are based on the needs that that these families and individuals express. They help to plan their own programs of what they need. I think too there'll probably be a definite change in, uh, there's a, a doctor problem right now. We're told that not this is a meeting at which lesson leaders are prepared to present a program to the members of their home demonstration club. This is a lesson on family living with a look to the future. So there will be changes in that. And then we're going to have a lot of new vaccines. There's going to be so many changes, I think, made in regard to cancer and heart. And see, there's, they're getting something right now that will... Uh... Oh, we work with youth in many ways. The most well-known is 4-H. The 4-H dog project is popular with both rural and urban youth because we find dogs everywhere. The kids have fun in a dog obedience school. So once a week we load up dogs and people and away we go. <coughs> Extension agents travel a great deal because we can't expect the people just to come to us for all the things that they need to know. We need to make our program convenient for them. We work with other agencies. Our nutrition aides frequently find problems of health care that can be helped by some community service agency. The nutrition aides are non-professionals. They make calls on families and help them with diet and food planning. Mabel, tell me, how do you think you're getting along with the family that we discussed earlier? Well, I feel like I've accomplished a great deal. For instance, she uh, didn't. She knew that her family needed milk, but she wasn't uh, conscious of the fact of what it did towards their teeth and uh, their bone structure. I believe uh, you mentioned that her husband is often there when you go to visit the homemaker. Yes, he is. 
and he does a great deal of talking and seems to be very much interested. In mm -hmm. Fortunately, we're backed up by staff on the university campus, and when we get questions that we can't answer, we ask for help from the campus staff. Sometimes people ask questions that we just don't seem to have an answer for yet. West Virginia University's off-campus programs extend throughout the state. Farmers learn new agricultural information from county agents. Coal miners learn how to control mine fires in an extension class. From the University campus, WWVU-TV broadcasts public television programs to meet many tastes and educational needs. The Puppet Mobile makes children happy wherever it goes. And in East Africa, WVU professors have helped the developing nations of Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania improve their programs of agricultural research and education. Teaching. Research. Off-campus education. Three arms of the university, each linked with the others, each changing daily as new knowledge leads to new ways of meeting human needs. Experimenting, extending, permitting the unworkable to be tried, the unthinkable to be thought. Letting an idea meet its critics and stand or fall. Preparing new generations to meet crises not yet foreseen with knowledge not yet known. The ideas may change, but the processes and the mission are constant. There is no single summary, no precise definition. For the real meaning of a university can only become clear tomorrow in the lives of those she touched today. 